Hello, this is uh, uh, Turijn, aka the Duskoft, and um, <coughs> I am uh, making a quick tutorial uh, about uh, the difference uh, between effects and uh, uh, generator plugins. Um, first of all, um, what you can you can see it uh, if you go to the browser. Um, then you can see there's a clear uh, uh, distinguish, uh, uh, it's t clearly divided here. In the plugin database, you have an effect section and a generator section. So if you, uh, let's say, unfold uh, this, you, ca have, you have all these different uh, categories of effects and all these different categories of uh, generators. So I will first uh, start out by, uh, um, by uh, using a plugin, and while I'm I'm doing this, uh, I will uh, explain to you uh, why a generator is a generator, and uh, why uh, also why uh, you cannot use an effect uh, as a generator plugin. Okay, so uh, for this example, I will use uh, Silent One uh, as my uh, as my plugin. And um, so I put it on channel one. Well. Picking a nice color. This number one is very important because this number one uh, uh, is the same as uh, the number one in the mixer. So it's being then routed to the to the to mixer channel number one, which will become later. Uh, of important later on in this uh, tutorial, uh, but first, let's uh, let's create some uh, sounds, because um, a generator is being called a generator because it generates uh, sounds. But in order to, to generate sounds, it needs uh, input. And uh, the input for generating uh, the sounds is done in the piano roll, um, which I now uh, started up. Um, I, have, I first have to put in the pattern that I uh, uh, created. Uh, so this is the, the pattern from silent uh, one. So again, um, I have to open the piano roll. So what I'm doing now, is programming, yeah, yeah. I'm programming the input. I'm programming the input which the plugin uses to generate sound. Thus also uh, um, declaring or explaining why uh, they call a generator uh, a generator, because it generates sound based on uh, the stuff you put in the piano roll. And uh, the, st the stuff you put in the piano roll, uh, there's a, uh, also a musical uh, term for it, and this is called MIDI data. And MIDI data is uh, li like the universal, uh, universal computer language for uh, music. So it's being used, uh, 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 le uh, let's say, uh, everywhere, and not only in uh, uh, FL uh, Studio. Um, so what happens uh, if I now uh, hit the, the play button? Um, what happens is that uh, this MIDI data is being sent to the to the plugin, and the plugin is being routed to the mixer channel one, which we can see here. And then from the mixer channel one is being routed to the master channel, and the master channel is your actual output. Okay, but so far this is uh, all nice, but then we didn't come uh, to. Uh, uh, so we didn't come to the effect yet. Let's uh, stop this for a second. 
recursion effect, uh, actually, like it cannot uh, generate sound uh, because uh, it can only uh, change or alter sounds uh, that it gets. Um, so actually, what you do is uh, um, it can alter the sound that silent one produces. Uh, so the next step for using effects is uh, actually to do it in the mixer. Uh, and where you do it is in this part. Uh, so this is the part where the, effect, uh, uh, the effects uh, go. And um, uh, let me go to the uh, screen. Yes. I uh, am now giving you an example of uh, uh, an effect that I want to use. Uh, it's, like it's called gross beat. So now you have to, Im to imagine the the way that uh, um, uh, everything travels is uh, it it starts with the piano uh, rolls it sends it through the silent one uh, plugin silent one plugin sends it to the mixer channel one mixer channel one sends it to the master channel and but now there's a gross beat uh, here. So before uh, Silent sends it to the master channel, it will first be routed through gross beat. And you see you have 10 slots here, which means you can uh, add uh, 10 effects, and the routing is being done uh, uh, one after the other. So if you put in an effect uh, at slot one, it will be first uh, processed by effect number one, and, and then uh, if you have an effect in slot five, it will then be processed in slot number five. Uh, and sometimes it can make a difference uh, in the order that you uh, do. Uh, but let's uh, now uh, see uh, how the effect uh, will uh, work out. So I now press the play button. And as I said, uh, you can put in more. You can, you can put in more effects, someone. So to summarize it, what we have done now is uh, the first step was, and I put this a little bit lower, the first step we done is um, we loaded up a plugin in the channel rack, and then we made a, a pattern. Uh, uh, we made a, a pattern of it to put it in the playlist. Um, we uh, programmed some MIDI data in the piano roll, so this could be fed into the Silent One uh, plugin, uh, and then we routed the, the output of the Silent One plugin into the mixer channel one. Then we added. Uh, the gross beat effect uh, and after that we also added the hardcore effect when hardcore and gross beat don't generate uh, sound they, they only change uh, uh, sound so they change the input of the silent one and the hardcore changes the input of the gross beat and uh, then it's being generated of, or it's being sent to the master channel um, I think uh, this is about it uh, so this is the explanation of the differences between generators and effects and how to use them in FL Studio. Um, I uh, hope this makes it a little bit clearer. Th many thanks. <laughs>